Live from University Stadium in Teaneck, New Jersey, it's semifinal number one here in the NEC Women's Soccer Championships on NEC Front Row. In the first one, the red flash of St. Francis, the number four seed, take on the top-seeded and homestanding FDU Knights. That's Esther Rochon, the senior midfielder, second-team All-NEC player with it. And we are underway, and it'll be St. Francis ball. Very comfortable outside. And the cross, there it is! Rachel Hoekstra, one to nothing, FDU goal. Well, somehow Coons ended up on the ground in the scuffle, and Hoekstra, who we highlighted off the start, well, she makes an instant impact, her 14th goal of the season, her 35th goal in her FDU career, and it's a quick 1-0 lead for the Knights. Take a look at Coons going to the ground, and it was a gaping net for Hoekstra. And now to Amanda Goulet. Nikki Kiker, a last minute addition to the starting lineup with a cross, and it is loose, and it is good! Another goal for FDU, and Rachel Hoekstra right in the center of the net again. She was basically standing on the goal line. Opportunity here for SFU, maybe to create some offense, give themselves an opportunity. Morales, the sophomore from Madrid, Spain. And it's loose in front, and it is good! Couldn't see who got it in that middle of the scrum, but St. Francis is on the board. It's now 2-1. to one. The keeper, Felicia Burr, could not control the situation that three yards inside the post. That ball, it actually, well, looks like it went off one of the FDU players. I think it went off Ho Hoekstra, and it kind of caught Burr by surprise, and Reinhardt, oh, Kalenovic to Reinhardt, and here's a shot, goal, Esther Rochon, three to one, FDU. Picone with the lead, intended for Tice, Reinhardt, Good deke, now a shot, score! What a first half for Jesse Reinhardt, the NEC Rookie of the Year. FDU takes a four to one lead. NEC all rookie team member, that's Kalenovic with it from New York City. Couple good moves there, Kalenovic now with a shot on goal and somehow Coons fell down and it was over her head anyway, 5-1 to one, FDU, Kalenovic with her fifth goal of the year. Pressure in this second half offensively, most of the half has been spent on the Knights attacking side of the field as we see another chance here. Kiker, and her cross goes in off the keeper, Coons. There was an FDU player close to it. Tice on the run out. Tice has some space. The cross, the shot, goal! Patricia Seitz with her second goal in a matter of moments and her second goal of the season. If your defenders can help you out. Here's an opportunity, shot, score! St. Francis not going away in this one. Fired in there, and Burr can't get it, and that's a goal. Seven, six, the five seconds five, left. Four, three, two, and that will do it. FDU wins it, seven to four. You guys going to the uh, championship game, second straight year. Uh, talk about what it's like to get back to this point. Honestly, we were a team that started uh, four years ago at the bottom, and this is a really great experience for us. We are so proud of everyone uh, who played and who didn't play, anyone who's involved on our team. Um, it's a great experience, and we look forward to the finals. What's it like to get here in your first year with the program? Yeah, it's, uh, it makes so much fun with, with the girls. They're all nice. 
I try my best, all try their best, so we just try to keep it up and it's good. Coach Eric Teepe, uh, Fairleigh Dickinson and coach, second year at the helm and second trip to the NEC title game. First off, congratulations and uh, ju just talk about the process this year and what it took to get back to this point. Well, you know, we, we decided, we knew we had a lot of players coming back, so we decided to really uh, increase our schedule strength. Uh, and, you know, it made us battle at a conference, and, you know, we played a couple of top 20, top 30 teams. And I think because of that, uh, it really helped us get through the conference and manage the conference. And I think we've, we've been doing a good job of playing at a high level in conference. So, uh, you know, you can do that when you have an experienced team, and that's, that's what we have this year. So, you know, hopefully we can find a way to do it one more game. Seven goals today, season high. It seemed like you were really clicking on all cylinders offensively. Yeah, I mean, we talked about really trying to get up. I think we, we felt that, you know, this is a team that we're playing that never gives up. Uh, they just keep fighting and fighting, and, you know, it doesn't matter if you're up one goal on them or six goals on them. They're going to keep coming at you. And uh, so I think it was really important. I, you know, it sounds kind of weird, but I thought that fifth goal at the beginning of the second half was really important because I think that really kind of settled the game down for us a little bit. That's FDU head coach Eric TB. Coach, congratulations and uh, best of luck on Sunday. Thanks.